Over the past year, we've made a lot of changes to streamline how we produce videos for our clients, and our kit has changed drastically to reflect this. Here's a rundown of the best filmmaking equipment that we've purchased last year that we think you should consider in 2024. Starting off with something to make every single one of your shots faster and more efficient, we bought a set of KNF magnetic lens caps for all of our lenses. We found them way more reliable than the standard clip caps because they're magnetic and you can easily whack on one of KNF's magnetic NDs, which is great for run and gun shoots where you're constantly swapping from indoors to outdoors. Our second recommendation is the Sigma Art 24-70 f2.8 for Sony E-mount. We bought into the original G Master lenses with our first a7S III, but for our second and third cameras we looked around at some other options. The Sigma has a really great image quality and the autofocus performs exceptionally well even at f2.8. Coming in at just under £1000, it's not the cheapest lens in our arsenal, but compared to the 1500 for the original G Masters and over 2K for the Mark IIs, it's definitely great value. Over the past year, we've incorporated our Sony mirrorless cameras into our travel kit for interviews as well as B-roll. Because of this, we wanted a way of getting good audio directly in camera. The option we went for is the Zoom H5 recorder. This gives us two XLR inputs for our mics, a line out for monitor, and a pre-amplified feed into our camera. We're expecting to have to sync the footage in post, but actually the audio channels that record onto the camera are almost indistinguishable from the raw files on the recorder. This gives us a super streamlined workflow in editing whilst also making use of the dual level recording on the zoom as a backup. I promise these aren't all about Sony cameras, but we did also purchase the small rig cage for the a7S III and a7 IV. We're from the land of cinema cameras, with our C300s having plenty of mounting points, and as we started using the a7S III for more interviews, we needed a good way of holding everything together. The small rig cage does this perfectly, holding both our Zoom H5 recorder and also one of our Sennheiser clip mics. Lastly, lighting is essential to a great looking interview, but lights can also be really heavy and require a direct source of power. We picked up these Ambitful A2 tube lights initially to be used as either practicals or to add colour to the scene, but we've actually ended up incorporating them into our travel kit as you can comfortably fit two tubes in a DJI gimbal case. They're not particularly bright, but as long as you can get them fairly close to your subject, then they can drastically elevate an interview compared to just using a window or the dreaded ceiling lights. Those were our purchases. Let us know if you have any of those or what your recommendations would be in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give us a like and you can also hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post new videos.